Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank one of my subscribers, Jay Herdell Hall, for this story. And, you know, we've been hearing all the stories about the shortages that are going on. And one of the shortages is fertilizer. Well, they came up with an alternative for the fertilizer. Recycling human urine also known as pea cycling, may soon be used to fertilize crops. Here's why. <laughs> yes, you're not hearing things. Mm -mm -mm. There is a new alternative to fertilizing uh, that could transform the world of agriculture, human urine. Do you know when I came on to YouTube, I was looking at a couple of people that were gardening, and I was too. And there were some people that right on the YouTube video pulled their pants down and peed in their garden. And I said to myself, and these videos have been up for a couple of years. But yeah, it wasn't just men either. Some of the women did it. They just pulled their pants down and said, oh, I I use my urine to fertilize my garden. And they peed right on the uh, video. They had no shame whatsoever. I'm just saying. It sounds gross and almost unbelievable, but the multitude of money saving and environmental perks of pea cycling are too massive to ignore. Let's address the elephant in the room. The thought of our pea interacting with our plants that will eventually produce food that we eat sounds nasty, but it only sounds nasty because we assume that our food is grown with clean with a clean process and that's not necessarily true there's a lot of really bad pesticides that are used and it's already embedded in the soil you know i mean human waste being used to fertilize has been done probably hundreds, maybe even thousands of years. Mm -mm -mm. Human waste is already being used to fertilize food you find in the grocery store. Kim Nace, co-founder of Rich Earth Institute, a Vermont-based research group. The use of biosolids containing human waste is already widespread in crop fertilization and the health risk associated with the potential contamination from these biosolids are higher than with urine. However, since biosolids are sourced from nature, they can be an essential part of the natural fertilization the process of using organic substances like our own waste products to improve plant growth and enrich soil quality. The alternative to these natural fertilizers is substantially less appealing. Conventional synthetic fertilizers that is fertilizers that are artificially synthesized um, without the use of organic material pose a major threat to our community. Synthetic production of ammonia, which is primarily used in man-made fertilizer, extensively uh, replies on the use of fossil fuels and creates the air pollution that overheats our planet or worsen extreme weather events. One study suggests that ammonia production is responsible for 1% to 2% of total global carbon pollution. Additionally, Russia's invasion of Ukraine 
has caused a global shortage of these synthetic fertilizers, which is part of the reason food has been so expensive recently. This fertilizer uh, shortage clarifies how urgent that um, the agriculture world find cheaper and more dependable alternatives. Yeah, but y'all act like Ukraine was supplying, uh, you know, fertilizer for the entire world. They weren't doing that. So to resolve all of these pressing problems, researchers around the world are studying the efficiency of urine-based fertilizer. And the results are promising. One study, Nigerian farmers mix urine with animal manure to fertilize their stable crops. Oh, wow. Pearl millet. Researchers conclude that the urine fertilized crop haul yield 30% more plant growth than usual. Stateside, the aforementioned Rich Earth Institute is developing alternative waste management systems that will redirect urine into fertilizer production. Over the last decade, the Institute has collected 16,000 gallons of urine from volunteers and partnered with four hay farms that use it as fertilizer. The nonprofit co-founder Abe Nohays says that there is no doubt that urine can be a safe fertilizer for growing any kind of crop. Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, the thought of it, yeah, but you know, a lot of people do this within gardens in their backyard, y'all. You know, it's one thing I don't do because there are other organic fertilizers out there that you can use that are good. But yeah, there are people, I mean, if y'all don't believe me, pull up some of these videos of people peeing in their gardens. But YouTube got issues with us, right? I'm just saying. Using human waste of fertilized crops is a shining example of the benefit of the circular economy, a system that rejects the norm of one-time use and disposable in favor of reusing materials and processes to significantly reduce waste. Okay, so plants require nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus to grow. And after we consume plants as part of our diets, you know, yeah, you, you will urinate and defecate. Yes, I mean, that's the normal part of living. You know, you do those things. Uh, this means by using nutrient-rich urine as fertilizer, we can effectively reuse existing nutrients to grow plants without creating new ones or making more unnecessary waste. Ladies and gentlemen, the world is in the shape that it's in because these folks, you know, instead of looking for the best alternative for people, they look for the best alternative to increase their money. They don't care what these artificial synthetic fertilizers will do to the human body, and they don't care. They don't care if it's going to shorten the life expectancy, or it's just bad all the way around for you to have, even for children to have. They don't care. It's all about making that Fuck. To me, if you wanted to go organic, you had ample time to do this for 500 years. And you ran with the synthetic fertilizer for a long, long time. Now we're getting close to the end and they're now 
all of a sudden concerned with a more natural approach to fertilizer? Wow, talk about a Johnny come lately. You really are on this one. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this video. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.